Hey everyone, I'm April Garwood from Banana Moon Studio. Let's get started on learning to crochet step by step. As you're learning to crochet, the first thing you're gonna need to know are what kind of materials you need. So you're gonna start by needing a crochet hook. These come in various sizes. Uh, one that is called a K or six and a half millimeters is a good choice for your first crochet hook size. And I'm also using this wool Aran that's from this company called King Cole. An Aran weight, a worsted weight, or a label that has a number four or the word medium on it, um, that would be a good choice. You want to choose a color that's not especially dark, a medium to light color is best, and a smooth texture like this one is going to be best for starting. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna have to do is make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, you're going to cross the end of your yarn over like this so that you have a loop on one side and then bring the end up under that loop so it kind of goes through the middle of it. So you should have uh, like a circle with a line through the middle of it. And then grab that piece that's going through the middle of the circle and then the two ends in the other hand and pull those apart. That creates a slip knot and a slip knot is adjustable. If you pull on the short end, it'll get smaller and if you pull on the loop, you can make it bigger. So you'll wanna slide the end of your hook through that loop and then tighten it up a little bit. It's gonna be just a little bit bigger around than your hook. You can maybe see, well, let's see if my hand's not in the way, that there's just a little bit of extra space in there. To hold your hook, you're gonna hold it a lot like you would a steak knife, like this with your finger on that loop, and then your yarn is gonna be in your right hand. The yarn going back to your uh, skein or ball of yarn, you're gonna lay it across your hand, then put it under your index finger, and then bring your hand up to the back so that the yarn is going over the top of your index finger. And I usually kind of hold it with my pinky and or ring finger to give it enough tension. Another thing you can do if you need more tension is you can wrap it around your index finger again, and that'll create a little more drag on the yarn if it's moving too freely. Okay, so I have my yarn and my hook ready. I'm going to hold this knot between my middle and thumb finger. And I know your hands are gonna feel very clumsy as you're trying to do this for the first time, but as they say, practice makes perfect your body will learn and you'll develop muscle memory the more and more often you do this. So from this point, you will wrap the yarn around the back of your hook and then to the front, and you're gonna slide your hook down, catching this yarn under the hook head. And as you slide down, turn it toward your left hand and pull it through the loop that was already on your hook. Like so, letting it slide through your left hand a little bit. And then once you're at this point, slide the hook back up. Put your finger back on the loop. Wrap around the back again. Slide down as you're catching the loop, turning towards your left hand and pulling through. What often happens a lot here is people are very tight and so if you're pulling too much here and this loop on your hook is really tight, you might come to this point and not be able to get your hook through that loop. If that happens, give that hook a little tug and loosen up the loop that's on there so that then you can slide back through. Slide up, yarn around, slide down and turn and through the loop. So what we're doing here is we're creating crochet chains and not all but most crochet projects begin with chains so that's a skill you'll need to learn. I am going to make a few more chains and then I'm going to show you your first crochet stitch that's actually going to give us some height how to like get started moving and making our project larger. So I'll do a few more chains here
as you go, you know, originally my thumb and middle finger were holding this knot. It becomes a little easier to control everything if I slide it this direction as I go. It gives me a little more control with how big the loop around the hook is. Next thing I'm going to show you is a stitch called a single crochet stitch. There are a lot more things to know about crochet than just how to make chains and how to make single crochet stitches, but that's going to be a really good place to start. So, first thing to know, the loop on your hook is not a chain. It only becomes a chain once it comes off your hook. What um, is right here at the tip of my thumb, that's my first chain or I'm sorry, at the tip of my left thumb, that's my first chain. I'm not going to work into it, so I'm going to skip it. My second chain is now at the tip of my left thumb. I'm going to go into that chain first. I like to turn the chains this way, so you can see how they look on the back. And I like to go under this loop right here Here's the first one. Here's the second one at the tip of my left thumb. I'm gonna go under that loop with my hook. I'm going to bring the yarn across the front of my hook and then I'm going to slide slowly and pull it through that chain. Slide my hook up, index finger on the loop, yarn around the back of the hook Using my thumb and middle finger, I'm going to keep those loops open, and then I'm going to slide and turn my hook to pull through both of those loops. Index finger back here. You can see this big open hole here. That's the stitch I just, or I'm sorry, the chain I just worked into. So I don't want to go back in there. My next chain is here. So I'm going to bring my hook under that loop yarn across the front of my hook, slide and pull it through the chain, slide back up, yarn around the hook, slide and turn. I've made two single crochet stitches now. You can see the tops of them here. They look a little bit like a V shape. They're stacked on top of each other. This big open hole is where I just worked. So I'm going to go into this next chain under this loop, yarn across the front, slide that through the chain, slide it up, yarn around the hook, slide and turn it through. This is the single crochet stitch. I'm going to do these next few a bit faster and then I just want to show you one more thing to get you going on learning to crochet. This is my very first slip knot that I made. This here is my very last chain to work into. So I'll go under this loop, yarn across the front of my hook, pull it through, yarn around the hook, pull it through both loops. At this point, I have finished the first row of single crochet stitches. To move on from here, I'm going to turn my work. So it's kind of hanging down parallel to my hook right now. I need to turn it this way. So it's sticking out again perpendicular to my hook. I'm going to chain one here. So that's yarn around the back of my hook, slide and turn. That's one chain. That one chain is going to act a little bit like a ladder going up the side of my piece to bring me to the height of the stitches I'm about to make. 
So again, I'm going to make single crochet stitches. Now, the chain, or I'm sorry, the stitches I made in the last row, I'm gonna turn this a little bit so that you can see them better. You can see how it kind of looks like a braid across the top there. I'm gonna go under each of those little, it also looks like stacked V's this way. I wanna go under each of those V's. The first one is here. I'm gonna go under both sides of it. Yarn across the front of my hook, pull it through the stitch, slide it up, yarn around the hook, slide and turn and pull through. And that has made my first single crochet stitch of this row. I'll find the next V, which is here, go under both sides of it, yarn across the front of my hook, pull it through, yarn around my hook, pull it through both loops. And I'm going to do that all the way across, going under each of those V's. This is how I make the second row of single crochet stitches. My last stitch to work into looks a little bit different. The two sides of my V are here, but you can see how this one was kind of hanging down to the side, so sometimes it can be a little hard to spot. And there's my last one for this row. And again, to continue going from here, I'm going to repeat what I've already done. It's hanging down parallel to my hook. I'm going to turn it so it's perpendicular chain one, and then I just start making stitches again. I'll be going into that first stitch there, which kind of looks like a V or maybe like two parallel lines. So a couple of tips I want to give you before I end this video. Um, it can be a little bit challenging to figure out where your first and last stitches of each row are. One tip I'd like to give you is after you make the first stitch of each row. Take a stitch marker, looks like this, it's like a little plastic safety pin, and put it through that stitch. And that makes it a little easier so that, let me kind of show you what that'll look like going the other way. If I had put one in when I started my last row, then when I'm working back this way, I'm going to know exactly where to find the last stitch I need to work into. Um, in order to continue working, you're going to make stitches across this row, turn and chain one and make stitches back the other way. And you'll just keep going until your piece is as long as you want. If you want your piece to be wider than mine is, you start by making more chains at the beginning. So that is crochet for beginners, step by step. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comments for me and be sure to like and subscribe. I hope you all have a beautiful day, bye.